Yo, cabins, huh? Almost went to jail for a vicious stabbing. This program huh? is intended for mature audiences. Parental discretion is advised. What up? It's Bill Cabins. I'm bringing y'all another video today. So we got Corey Holcomb on his show last night. He finally looks like he squashes the beef with uh, Marcus. Let's get right into this reaction. <laughs> on another note, last night I ran into uh, Marcus what? at the Improv. And um, I thought it went good. Oh, I thought it went real excellent. good. That nigga um, shook my hand hella hard, nigga. You but don't shake my hand that hard again, Marcus. I'm going <laughs> to choke you out. <laughs> That's between you and Corey, nigga. I love you, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It was weird. Like, when I walked up. See, this is what I was embarrassed about. So, you know. I'm watching this. I got to skip around because Corey getting off subject. That's how I know. I don't know. I Look, I got, I'm a fan of Corey and Marcus, but Corey right here, he know he was in the wrong. You know, Marcus is almost 20 years. I mean, uh, Corey is almost 20 years older than Marcus. He said no better. But, you know, let's continue. My, my brother Gooch was with me. I saw Marcus and it was weird at first. Craig, I know you saw the whole motherfucking thing. Yeah, I peeped y'all, man. It was weird at first because well, when yeah. I got down there, you know, I'm looking around. I'm like, oh, there you go. I was still kind of mad, though. <laughs> I was still mad. Yeah. But when I looked at Marcus, as we got closer to each other. How close did y'all get? <laughs> <laughs> so about, about where you at. Oh, okay. yeah. Or maybe, a little, maybe just a little bit further, but I'm like. Nigga, come here. Let's talk. You gave him a nigga, you put him in the I didn't grab him yet. I just said, man, let's talk. Because here's the bottom line. Yeah. All the frustration online that's been happening, yeah. it was frustration online. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's different when you face to face with somebody. Yeah. I'm going to say this, man. Go ahead. Man, Corey just doing too much talking. Just apologize to Marcus. Corey was out of body. You know, he got sensitive, and at the end of the day, this is what happened. He exploded at Marcus, really said what's on his mind. He need to apologize to Marcus and his mom, Jonay. That's what it come down to. You know, Corey is too old to be acting like this. The man is 55 years old. You know, I cut Marcus some slack because he's a lot younger. But Corey should have known not to let it get to this point. And he let it get to this point. But let's continue. You got something you want to say, no, Craig? No, no, no. Oh, oh. Craig, go ahead. Oh, no, no. I was agreeing with you. I'm saying, like, I'm on my yes man shit. Face, <laughs> right. You on your yes man <laughs> shit. Face to face <laughs> is a lot different than talking online. Because I'm just saying, I don't want to disrespect nobody face to face because I know where it can go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And. In my lifetime, motherfuckers don't disrespect me face to face. And it ain't necessarily tough or untough shit. What does this got to do with anything, Corey? What does this have to do with anything right now? Get to the point. I, I really feel like Corey should just apologize and move on. All this hosh posh and this, this word jargon. <laughs> just get to the point, Corey. When you face to face... With your brother, if you got any morality about you, you gonna see something in your brother where you know you' supposed to work it out. Now, it's people out here who don't get morality about them. Well, when they see each other, they talk shit, be ready to fight. Be ready to do whatever. Those are people, in my opinion, who don't have morality, man. If you if you got some morality in your soul and you see your brother, I think the natural instincts that come in your mind is, can we fix it? As soon as I saw Marcus face to face, oh. I was like... And you know, I had to fast forward because Corey really wasn't talking about nothing. Now, it shouldn't take more than five minutes to explain a situation. Corey's now, what, 15, 20 minutes into explaining what happened between him and Marcus. That's how I know Corey wrong. 
But Corey, Corey's so strong minded, he's not going to admit it. He's just going to go around the point and all this extra stuff. It's just like he's not going to apologize. He's going to say everything but apologize. Nigga, bring your motherfucking ass oh, over here, nigga. The fuck is this dumb shit? Exactly. The fuck is this dumb shit, nigga? I didn't have, I was so mad at Marcus up until I saw him face to face. Mm -hmm. And when I looked at him, I think my OG instincts read inside of his face. It wasn't no motherfucking hate. Right. Yeah, that nigga love you, man. Come on, man. <laughs> my OG instincts was like, because I saw it was looking. And when I saw it, it wasn't no fuckery in my opinion. This is my opinion. These are my instincts. <laughs> this is what I trust to eat. This is how I eat in this world. I go off my instincts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And people out there, learn how to get familiar with your instincts because this is the ultimate direction from God. Your instincts. What do your instincts tell you? Some people, your instincts lead you to jump off roofs. God don't fuck with you like that. But I know that a lot of things have happened in my life where I can stand on my instincts. So when I saw little bro, my instincts told me, talk to him. Do not. Corey, what happened to your instincts? What happened to your OG instincts the last three or four weeks? What happened to the your instincts when you was yelling online? What what happened to your instincts then? Now you want to be mature. It's already over and done with. Marcus got the best of you in the joke category, and you threw in the white flag. It's that simple. But let's continue. Be acting like you're rolling your eyes or proud or all that sucker shit. That ain't nothing. Well, when, I, go ahead. When I saw him, my outstinks told me to tell him to take a shower. <laughs> oh my God, Greg, I knew he was. Just, you know what? <laughs> take a shower. Take a shower. Your outstinks, nigga. He was a little musty when I was yeah. talking to him. Oh, no, I'm fucking oh, around. We all know that. Come I'm on. I'm fucking man. around. Yeah. Um, we all know he'd be musty. <laughs> <laughs> I got too many good things that happen to me in this world to be holding a grudge. With somebody who I was around that long. When I already know, or no, I can't say I know. My instincts, my opinion told me what it was about. And you know, Marcus felt like. You know he's sick, right? Here we go. Go, Gosh darn What is he sick? What is he sick? I don't understand. Like, I understand, you know, <laughs> he got to get his jokes out. But let Corey finish his point. Come on, Craig. Let Corey finish his point. Fashion cancer. So he got oh. fashion cancer. <laughs> Craig, stupid. You don't know how much longer he's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> his clothes on strike. <laughs> and got but I'm going to say this, because this, this is an important point. I know he feel like I deserted him because of the show. Really? And it is my opinion he poked at me when I was wounded. That's my opinion. These are my instincts telling me. It's called you got too sensitive when he was just telling the jokes. It's that simple, Corey. What's up? And we talked about it. And yeah, so I'm I'm probably going to make a part two to this. I didn't think it was going to take Corey 38 and a half minutes to explain what happened between him and Marcus. It's like he doing all this word jargon, getting off a subject. Just apologize to the man and move on. It shouldn't have took you three or four weeks to, to have your OG instincts kick in. And I understand, you know, Craig trying to get off his jokes about fashion. But at the end of the day, Craig got some of the worst fashion. You know, hey, shout out to him. I got nothing but respect and love for him. But Craig be having the worst type of fashion on. He should be the last person talking about somebody's fashion. That man up there in a, a lime green and white <laughs> sweater or uh, shirt looking like he's straight out of a 1980s Ma Macy magazine. You know what I'm saying? Like... I don't understand it, but get in my comment section. Let me know what y'all think, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.